It's been a while since we made a travel vlog, and to be honest, we were feeling a bit apprehensive about recording this trip. Using the camera, making sure the mic works properly, and then of course the mammoth task of editing the footage. It's all a lot of work, and sometimes the journey can be more enjoyable without these distractions. We've also done a similar video documenting our trip from the UK to Lithuania before, and I thought maybe our viewers would get bored of the same journey, but at the end of the day, every journey has its own story, and we love looking back on our own travel memories. So if you guys enjoy this video too, that's just a great bonus. It's been two years since we've spent Christmas with Gabby's family, so we thought we'd get the camera out, dust off the microphone, and take you along with us on a road trip that stretches across the entire width of Europe, going from west to east, traversing seven different countries. We started our journey in Brighton, where we live in the UK, and made our way towards the Eurotunnel to take the train under the sea to mainland Europe. Oh, it's good to be back here, isn't it? So good. So exciting. <sighs> yeah, really, really happy to be back here, goodness. It's been a long time coming, it feels like. It's been over a year. It's been over a year since we've been to Lithuania in the van, or been anywhere abroad in the van. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> it's so, so nice to be back in the van. I feel like last year, after the whole palava with dog accidents and stuff, it's just, we've had a bit of like, you know, not a nice feeling, but we're back here. Yes, we are. And they have a Christmas tree. Dogs are alert. It's busy. Oh, it's busy. Oh yeah, Damn. look at that queue. I'm afraid we're one of those people. We literally got an email today saying, please don't come at your, uh, <laughs> please don't come earlier than your book time. Come at your time that you have booked because it's fully booked, too many people, don't try coming earlier. Guess what we did. Gonna check in these little two naughty ones. So what are you most looking forward to in Lithuania? Oh, you know what? I'm just looking forward to sitting down with the book next to a fire, just doing nothing, maybe knitting a little bit, seeing friends and family, just simple things. I just want the simplest things. Ha ha ha. We managed to get on an earlier train, haven't we? Yeah, two hours earlier, so really happy about that. Maybe we can make a bit of progress tonight. Just drive for a, like an hour or two until we stop. So yeah, solid progress. Really, really happy. Excited for the journey. Basie's happy, Billy's happy. Everyone's happy. Well, we're on the uh, train finally. We've got here and uh, yeah, just about to head over to France. Really happy to be back on this Euro tunnel. I've missed Europe a lot. We both have, I think, but time for a little snack while we uh, ride this little crossing. Only 30 minutes and then we'll be in France. Nice little dinner. So good. Bonjour. 
Bonjour, ça monsieur. Ça va? Ça va bien? Billy, we're in France. First time in France, Billy. Yes! Yes, it is the first time in France for Billy. <laughs> Yay! Are we in Bendel Jump? Uh, yeah, well, the signs seem Bishkemo Belgian. Yeah, I guess we're in Belgium. It's a little bit of potato, a little breakfast snack. You're not gonna stay for the vlog base. No, I didn't sign up for mm. this. We just had a nice sleep here. It was super windy, the van was moving around a lot. But um, for some reason, somehow it didn't really bother me. Sometimes in the past, it kind of feels like the van's gonna tip over certainly in our first sprinter when the bed was lengthways but because I believe well because the bed is widthways in this van I think it gives a slightly different sensation when it's rocking in the wind but yeah slept really well had a nice walk this morning and uh, yeah lovely bit of breakfast so time to hit the road again we were I just saying Sam's moustache and well you can't really see but there's a mullet under there uh, it's, it's a strong vibe but I think we should add a little bit to it. We're just testing. <gasps> I think it's a vibe. I want to see a full vibage. That's not like ah, oh, ah, that one ooh, hurt a bit. Ah, ee, ah, ooh. I'm just <laughs> re-piercing it again. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. I look like a 50 year old <laughs> biker. <laughs> biker, <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> Well, let us know in the comments what you think about these guys. Mm. I think we should bring them back. No, I don't. So we've just pulled over on the uh, on the motorway in Belgium because since we got off the train at Calais yesterday, neither of our phones have actually got any internet. So we've just been winging it a bit, trying to do it the old school way, uh, using the maps on Google Maps and our location because it's still got GPS to pretty much tell us where to go. But we just had a thought that if we break down or you know let Gabby's family know that we're safe and stuff. Uh, we should probably get some internet so we've just stopped off at a, uh, Starbucks and good opportunity to get a coffee I think so we're gonna head in there now leave the dogs in the van for a minute and try and get some internet you enjoying the drive Basie? Hmm? Like what about boys. Billy? you enjoy it? yes should we go and get some coffee? oh don't excite men <laughs> unless we're taking them with us no nah, let's leave them here is it working? Mm -hmm. I just need to I messed it up. I'm just gonna try and do it again. Ten euros. Well, actually, just under eleven euros for two flat whites. We're in Belgium now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that's good. Just got back from walking the dogs a little bit. It's uh, always a, feel a bit guilty when we're driving for hours on end with them, but uh, thankfully, yeah, was able to find some grass here and they're able to both go to the toilet and go and meet some German furry friends. So we've just pulled up in a town because Google Maps is sending us all over the place. But it gave us an opportunity to get some cheap diesel. It's cheaper than back home, which is good. And um, yeah, we're just uh, gonna have some lunch before we head on. Trying to get to a Christmas market this evening um, since it is December and we are in Germany. So we'll see how that goes. But first of all, we've got some, uh, what have we got? Pasta? A little sneaky van trick. We just cooked a load of pasta sauce, which is just minced meat and some veg. So all we need to do now is just to boil some pasta and then we can just mix it in and pre-grated trees very nice um so it just minimizes washing up uh which is always a bit tricky in the van i mean it's not tricky but if we can avoid washing up we always try to avoid washing up why wouldn't you oh there's our pasta oh yes what a feast thanks love <laughs> is it enough cheese yeah that's plenty of cheese <laughs> okay Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. This way. This way. Destination Mugdeburg. Mugdeburg. Oh, I might need the key. <laughs> might help. <laughs> I don't know if we were meant to drive on here or not. Shit. Uh, what was that? That was a speaker only. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Is that your dream truck? Oh man, yes. There were three on that truck, three 4x4 medium wheelbase sprinters. Brand new. My dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we have one please? We missed it. It said it's open until 10. It's still half an hour, but it's very much not open. It's very <laughs> much shut. That was quite a monster drive. 400 miles today, over 400 miles. Nine hours of driving time, plus breaks. It's been about a 12 hour day. Well, literally has been. Well, no, I think about 10 hour day, perhaps. We didn't have many breaks um, at all. It's nice to be here. We've broken the back of the journey, so it's over a third done. So uh, yeah, just taking a little walk around this very sleepy, sad, <laughs> I'm sure what was bustling Christmas market. Um, but maybe we'll catch it in the morning. I don't know. It doesn't open till 11, we'll see. <laughs> However sad it is to miss Christmas market, you know, there are worse things out there. The reason why we're so late, it was because we just got stuck in such bad traffic because of a bad um, road accident, big car crash. Um, so I think there are probably worse things than missing a Christmas market. Yeah, 100%. Although the, we can still smell the roasted almonds <laughs> and this, you can see the remnants of glue wine and candy oh. floss and fun <laughs> but um it's not raining and it's a nice evening so we're just gonna have a little walk around the town and see a bit of magdeburg <laughs> It is cold and wet here in Magdeburg. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and we've just got back to the van. It's time to wrap up for the night, have a shot of Bailey's and get some well earned sleep. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Basie. Good morning. Good morning, dear. 
morning. <laughs> Out of all of us, Billy is the most awake one. Billy is definitely the most awake. This <laughs> is our playtime. Mm, good girl. Good girl. Man, that was the worst night's sleep I've had in a long, long, long time. It, it was so windy here. Um, the van was, I don't know, Night before last was pretty windy, but last night was just crazy. Every 20 minutes, just being woken up by the van, being shaken vigorously. So yeah, not fun, but I've had a shower this morning, feeling fresh, had a wash, had a shave. Anyway, we're getting ready. It's still dark outside. What time is it? 720, 7.26. So yeah, time to take the dogs for a walk and uh, get started with the day. That was a nice walk, we needed it. 4K, um, really, yeah, really nice little walk. Sunrise, pretty much, as we were walking along the riverside here in um, Magdeburg. But uh, yeah, super windy still. It's crazy, crazy, crazy windy. But it's cold outside, it's like four degrees now. So I've just made a cup of tea, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the road again now, I think. So yeah, on to Warsaw now. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Polski, lots of truck traffic. There's never usually any traffic on the border. I don't know why why there's so much traffic, but there was just a checkpoint on the other side of the road driving into Germany from Poland. So maybe the Poles are, maybe the Poles are doing the same the other way, I don't know. There's a beautiful river here. It's the river Oder. Doesn't smell very good. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear a um, van brain where you spend too long in the van on the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've recently been watching some other YouTube channels of some people that um, yeah spend a lot of time on their own in their van and you can tell like we can relate to van brain which is just like a bit craziness going out of your mind you've been on the road for too long. <laughs> so to help Sam with his um, van brain and long long driving we thought we'd play a game and actually it's a game that we saw on um, watching friends which we've been sort of re-watching uh, recently while we have breakfast and uh, the game they played was just to name all 50 states um, of United States of America um, so yesterday Sam did really well and named all 39 without assistance and then the rest with some clues um, and today Sam's challenge is to do all 50 without assistance but we're struggling a little bit um, so we've guessed all of these states and these are just the ones that we've got left and two W's. 
two W's. You shocked to hear that. Wisconsin. Correct. And one more. Wellington. <laughs> Wellington. Mind you, we didn't sleep that much last night, so I feel I feel like it's a bit unfair playing this game. Wilmington. No, I've said that ten times. It doesn't exist anywhere. Um, I don't know. What's the other W? Do you give up? Yeah. What are the questions? Who? What? Where? where and? When? When? What are other questions? When, where, who, what, how, why? Huh? Huh? Wyoming! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is boring. I don't know. We'll we'll come back when we guess them all. It can sometimes be a bit tricky trying to find somewhere to sleep in Poland, especially between Warsaw and uh, Vilnius, well, especially Warsaw and uh, the border of Lithuania, because there just isn't much there. There's a couple of towns but um, and some really beautiful forests, but they're a bit closer to the Lithuanian border, and we want to stop before then, so yeah, Gabby always done a, does a great job. Um, yeah, finding us a spot to stay and I remember the first time that we did this journey we actually put a post on our Lindy Vanner Instagram account uh, with our location saying if you don't hear from us tomorrow then uh, send out a search party because it's quite a scary spot but yeah, that wasn't my best find <laughs> but apart from that it's all good we're just trucking now we've gone through two toll roads and uh, yeah making our way towards Warsaw about 200 miles away from Warsaw and our destination for tonight is going to be about about 100 kilometers past Warsaw, I think. So, yeah, should be uh, should be good for tomorrow. Save the shortest leg for last. <laughs> well another monster drive today I think it was something like 500 miles I can't remember I did film what it said on the dash um, but yeah really really happy that we're here um, in a town called Bialystok which is pretty much the biggest town in Poland before we get to the Lithuanian border so it's quite a uh, it's quite a monumental um, destination to get to knowing that tomorrow in like four, four and a half hours, we're gonna be uh, getting to Gabby's parents' house. So yeah, really, really happy about that. And it started snowing. So yeah, there's a bit of snow on the van and uh, it's a little, a little wet on the ground here, but some of the snow is settling here and there. But thankfully the roads in true Polish fashion were gritted really, really well. So um, no problems with, uh, with slipping around this year, thankfully. Not yet anyway, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't count my chickens until we get to Lithuania, but we had some nice dinner this evening, Gavi did a nice pasta carbonara and um, yeah, just been watching a bit of uh, TV on Netflix on the iPad and now it's time for bed. That was really mean. Don't bite Basie in the face. 
guys, be friendly. Monster dogs. <laughs> Morning. Ah! 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 That's my face! That's my face! <laughs> well, this police van's just pulled in, so I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we've just got up this morning, walked the dogs a little bit, which was really nice. First time that Basie and Billy have seen, uh, well, first time that Billy's seen snow, and the first time that Basie saw snow was two years ago, also in Poland. But um, it's, yeah, you can see how thick the snow is. That's the bonnet. It's, yeah, almost about an inch thick already. Um, but we just had some visitors in the van. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're gonna head off soon um, because we don't want to out outstay our welcome. We've had it before uh, in the past, you know, little interactions with police and stuff. But I find that when the police <coughs> want to talk to you and you're in a foreign country, especially in Eastern Europe, and you just speak English, they get a bit embarrassed and just leave you alone. And that's just happened as I just got out of the van when Gabby noticed that the police van had just pulled up. So we're gonna roll off the ramps and uh, get going. Don't wanna piss anyone off. Don't wanna outstay our welcome. But in true little fashion, had a great night's sleep last night. No wind, slept like logs, both of us. So yeah, really happy to wake up in this uh, beautiful little town, now dusted in magicalness. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I was a bit of drifty wifty, bit of Tokyo drift. <laughs> Hopefully the main road is nice and clear. Oh, it is. Thank goodness for that. That's not too bad, is it? On the road again. Wow, some signs you can't see. They're like completely snowed in. Oh, sorry, made in the way. Wow, now it's proper winterland we woke up and the van was snowed in we're like a little igloo covered in a layer of snow um, it wasn't the warmest of nights i almost sort of regretted not leaving the electric blanket on or the heating on um because it did definitely drop around i don't know five or sort of five six a.m so we did wake up a little bit early um but nevertheless put the heating on made myself some coffee um, and yeah, it's, it's so nice to experience even a little bit of snow. I think next week it'll probably all melt away. Um, but even if it does, Billy got to experience her first snow. And now we've got, what, it's a four hours and a half uh, until we reach Vilnius. And so it's not like a super long day today. Uh, thankfully. Uh, and the roads seem pretty clear, you know, it looks like it's been gritted, I think temperature is around zero, our dash thermometer is not the most accurate, but we've got one in the back and it was around zero this morning, so, so yeah, last bit of the road trip. from the west because <laughs> from the west been throwing us about all over the road it's been sort of patches of iciness and snow and it's sort of hailing a little bit uh, but we're making really good progress now we're in Lithuania it all feels a bit nicer we've got what left 
two and a half hours until we're home. Um, but we might stop, do a little final stop uh, just to get some lunch, maybe? Are you going for lunch? Yeah. Lunch and maybe a little pit stop for the dogs. You give it, oh! <laughs> Dog? Maybe not from your mouth. <laughs> Everyone okay. gets cheese. Yeah. Everyone gets oh, cheese man. in this household, in this van hold. <laughs> oh man, it does indeed feel good to be, uh, to be back in Lithuania. Wow. We just pulled over at this uh, petrol station um, to get some diesel and I went in and as soon as I walked in, the cashier at the till said the uh, Labadena as I walked in, which is like, good afternoon. And instantly I was like, oh yes, I can communicate with these people. But I've just been in like autopilot foreign mode, let's say, driving across Europe. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was nice to have a little, a little exchange of words with, uh, with the first Lithuanian stranger here on this trip. Um, and then just as I was leaving to come back to the van, I thought, oh, I'll get a coffee there. I had a coffee machine in there. So I went back to the till and I said, oh, man prasho flat whiters. And, uh, and she was like, oh, but I speak, I thought you speak Lithuanian. <laughs> and even though I did say it in Lithuanian, so it obviously wasn't that good, well pronounced. Um, but it made her laugh. Uh, and uh, yeah. We're about 100 miles still from Gabby's parents' place. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd uh, stop here, grab some diesel, get some lunch um, and uh, mm -hmm. some coffee and fuel the last few miles uh, in what has been a very, very, very long journey. just has this like massive almost like sculpture kind sign welcome to Vilnius uh, while any other I don't know town or city around Europe just has like one of those regular road signs I feel like there's such a pride uh, to be Lithuanian and to be from Vilnius there's always like a big sign like yeah welcome home so it's really really nice to be here we still got about half an hour into my parents house so it's really like whew, last stretch before this journey comes to an end um, and we can just celebrate Christmas and relax and be at home and be cozy. Uh, so thank you for following us along this long trip all the way from Brighton to Vilnius. Uh, it's gone really smoothly. We've done really good progress sort of every day spread out over three days. When did we leave? Four what? Days. Four days? I lost count, I don't even know what day it is today, but we left Brighton on Wednesday and tomorrow is Christmas Eve, so today is Saturday. So yeah, it's been a few days on the road, but we've tried to sort of take it easy and enjoy being back in the van. And we have some more plans in the upcoming weeks after Christmas to do maybe a little bit more van life. So stay tuned and thanks again for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe for more travel updates and other van life related stuff and Merry Christmas everyone! Or maybe Christmas already gone by the time we post this video so um, yeah I hope you had a good Christmas everyone. Bye! This wasn't here. Uh -huh. <laughs>